talking about the project itself, uh, flyover Teluk Lamong. The project itself uh, have uh, one year's completion time when we must complete all the design process uh, from the design base uh, from the owner. And the project cost about uh, 1.3 trillion Indonesia rupiah. And the uh, interesting about this project, this is first project in Indonesia that use beam as a tender requirement. Not quite strategic because there is a street that always have traffic jam. So that's why they want to build the red line, the new access about two kilometers, so they can go directly to the Surabaya Gresik toll road. So reducing travel time from normally minimum one hour until 15 minutes. But in the most uh, worst case, is more than two hours. So that's why this is uh, structure is very important for them as our the owner. So we try to simplify integration between several disciplines. We make better in data quality, and we want to reduce error on construction site because normally in normal projects sometimes we have rework in the project site. This is we want to avoid because with the very short time period, we cannot uh, avoid to let's say to have a rework at the project. And the second, we want to advance collaboration and communication also with the using of uh, BIM Level 2. In this project ex execution, we want to have BIM until Level 2 because this is the first time also we implement BIM. So in Level 1, we do survey photogrammetry, 3D modeling, and do analytical process. And we can generate auto volume and bill of quantity. In Level 2, we do data collaboration and 3D integrated schedule. This is what we do in the project. So this is about the survey. Uh, we do the survey uh, using drone, so we can capture the surface area more detail. And of, of course, for topographic survey, we bond the area with GCP, ground uh, control. So making sure that every facility, the existing facility, we can capture. And then uh, we put the reality modeling in the right side. So normally we do without BIM, we take one month to do this. But with BIM, we can do it with uh, seven days, one week. There is concrete girder and also use concrete steel. Uh, sorry, uh, steel girder, I mean. So this is, uh, that's why we use lip bridge concrete and steel. And then for the concrete girder, we use detailing with pro structure. So with BIM, we can save almost a month for this process, this phase. So there is a time frame in the left side of the right uh, picture where uh, we can visualize and integrate the project schedule into model. So easy for everybody to see what happened in the process in the construction. And we can put all the parameter in the data in the, the drawing so people can see the parameter of the, in the drawing like this one. Okay about the timeline itself so this is the timeline that uh, we use so we can save for design times almost 50 days uh, for using BIM so almost uh, two months for one year's uh, schedule is very very uh, help for us we have saving uh, cost and time also so this is a uh, big uh, by using this uh, 3D model and quantity, we get uh, directly the volume. So this different between the cal normal calculation that the software that we can get save the cost. The class detection was the, the most uh, important thing also. So the first design is uh, introduced by the, the owner. So as the basic design. So by doing the beam, we can put uh, everything in the visualization and we know that the position of the pier head is not uh, proper because it's in the middle of the highway so by uh, knowing this in advance we avoid uh, loss due to improper design and then we avoid also losing two month construction time loss if we uh, know this later so this is I think uh, also important so this flyover uh, crossing one railway and two major uh, highway and uh, to summarize i think integration between uh, survey and civil structure by beam bendry platform is uh, excellent and we can do data presentation with 3d model for better visualization and information for the parties involved in the project and then uh, class detection 
and resolve design issue before construction. It's also the key and digital collaboration between engineering, procurement, and construction. Uh, from our experience, big implementation is about a change management. It's not only as a buying a software and we can implement. And then we need full support for all parties is needed for successful implementation. And develop your roadmap, choose your platform, and apply it gradually. Because this is also uh, happen with other contractor will come to us and discuss with us because they say they already start beam but it's stuck in the middle just so we share also our uh, experience and then i think Bentley provides all necessary guidance and software for successful beam implementation that's all for me thank you